Already to get working on our next section, we are going to start using Stripe.js with Ajax. This starts our path towards customizing our Stripe-based order processing, but nothing overly elaborate yet. We will start with small changes to get the basics hammered out. Stripe.js is the JavaScript library used for the Stripe checkout form. It is the checkout JavaScript file that downloads from Stripe. We will look at how to use it with our own JavaScript. Stripe.js provides options to configure the checkout form, and we can capture data from the form when it closes. And it provides an easy to use interface of methods that we can call. For example, we can open and close the checkout form in our JavaScript code. And we can do that with our own customized button instead of the Stripe default button. Stripe.js provides a notification when the user successfully checks out. We can then respond using our own JavaScript and libraries like jQuery. That lets us take advantage of Ajax. For example, we can communicate with our server to complete the charge. We can also change the UI messaging while that occurs, for example, displaying a processing message while the charge is completing. With Ajax, we can create our own PHP services that use Stripe independent of our UI. This architecture is the foundation for decoupling the UI and the backend transaction processing. This gives you flexibility on how to send and receive data between the UI and the services that we create. Specifically, we'll be working with the POST and JSON data formats. We will send transaction information using POST and then retrieve results using JSON. When processing completes, we can update the UI with meaningful messages explaining the results. When we are done with this section, you will have a basic UI framework to build more complex order processing that uses Stripe. Well, that's it. You are all ready to go. See you at the first session. Thank you.